this week as a defining one for the future conditions in the stock market as the reporting season for the second quarter has just started. The U.S. equity market reached new record highs on Monday in anticipation of this event. How will the situation unfold after the publication of the earnings reports of the largest corporations? Let's discuss it. Let's start with the Dow Jones Industrial Average. As we can see on the chart, it has grown slightly over the week, approximately by 130 points. This is exactly the forecast we gave last week. Now the index is trading at the level of 34,900. However, after the publication of corporate reports for the first half of the year, its value may exceed 35,000. Besides, bullish sentiment remains strong. The only obstacle for its growth may be the rapid spread of a new strain of coronavirus called Delta which could bring panic among investors. Meanwhile, 9 out of 11 sectors included in the S&P 500 have registered growth over the past week. The financial and tech sectors became the main gainers. The shares of manufacturers of consumer goods and shares of the energy sector showed a decline. In general, the index rose to 4,380 from 4,350, which was in line with our forecast. According to analyst expectations, the annual profit growth of companies included in S&P 500 will total 64%, which is the highest result in more than a decade. If so, the index is surely to add gains rising to 4,400. Will it really happen? We'll find out soon. Nasdaq Composite showed a similar dynamic. Over the week, it has grown by 70-80 points. Last Thursday, it declined sharply amid the week's uh, U.S. labor market data. Currently, the Nasdaq Composite is approaching the levels of 14,800-15,000. It may even reach them as early as this week. Judging by the technical analysis, it's favorable to open long trades. Last week, Tesla's shares rose by more than $20. This gain was primarily due to positive expectations about the company's earnings report. So far, Tesla has rarely disappointed investors with weak results. This is why they expect an upbeat report. It's also recommended to pay attention to shares of Walt Disney. On Monday, the company's shares added more than 4% in the main trading session and 0.27% in the post-market trading. The reason was the reopening of movie theaters in many countries. Besides, its new movie Black Widow topped the worldwide box office. In the near future, such companies as PepsiCo, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan and others will publish their quarterly reports. Economists are betting on high results for all three companies. The U.S. stock market managed to raise all of the losses incurred lately. U.S. investors considered the slowdown in the growth of the U.S. economy to be a natural reason, as the U.S. economy could constantly expand. The stock market calmed down and on Friday it regained all the previously incurred losses. Now traders are focusing their attention on the beginning of the reporting season for the second quarter. Wall Street is cautiously optimistic about the upcoming earnings reports. You've watched Weekly Financial Review with me, Anna Kasatkina. Thank you for watching and have a nice trading day. Bye.